Hi there, welcome back to Muddy Mongers channel, a beginner's guide to mountain biking. Well, I'm at the trig point at the top of Benarty Hill. First time I've been to Benarty for about 10 months. Normally what I do is I go from the flat rock down the trails on the south side towards Locker Meadows. But today I thought I'd do something different. Apparently there's a blue trail that goes along the ridge line heading east. And then there's some red trails that come down from that, heading down towards the town of Billingbury. So I'm going to try doing that today. And uh, the views today are absolutely stunning, see for miles. Right through the valley to Stirling, right across the Forth Estuary there, the bridges, Pentland Hills, Edinburgh, up back up the Forth, Berwick Law, the Bass Rock, Fargo Law. See for miles and miles and miles. A great day to be out. Look at that view. It's Bishop Hill, Falkland Hill across there. This is Loch Leven. This island there, that's where Mary Queen of Scots was imprisoned for a while. Town of Kinross. And these sort of water flat areas, that's a RSPB Loch Leven Nature Reserve. So I believe the name of this is called Trick Top Sprint. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing much sprinting today though, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Which way? It seems to be split off in a couple of different directions here. Keep it along this bridge line. Gorgeous! Oh! Oh! Pedal clipping! I'm going directly into the wind here. We're a bit off the track there. That was good. You could really build up a lot of speed there. Some of the bits were a wee bit tricky because uh, the um, rut you were sort of going in it was really quite narrow. So trying to get pedal strokes just to go a wee bit faster and the little uphill bits was clipping pedals. But other than that, fantastic. It was going down most of that with no brakes. Just had to apply the brakes on a couple of bits. Otherwise, I think it would have been into the heather. <laughs> that was really good fun. Blues can be really, really good fun. That was really nice and flowing. I've got to remember, do not discount blues. You can have great fun on them. Now, the next trail I'm looking for is a red trail called Eggplant. I think it's down this way, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if I can find it. This is a bog. <laughs> Look at all the water. <sighs> Hope that your trail's not like this. I'm gonna get around this. Just running down the hill. This is a fire road. 
trail is down to the left somewhere. That be trail. This is it apparently. It's pretty overgrown. Very chunky. Oh, this is a piece of road like that. Come back and do that. Looked like a huge drop, but it's just a rollable pile of logs. This is uh, a bit overgrown. So I took a wrong turn, I went straight ahead there, but it's actually often to the left here. I'm gonna have to really duck underneath this tree. Way. Just another dead end. That seems to be the way. Cool. Well, that was the end of eggplant there, just that little boundary wall here. It's definitely a red trail. I would say in its current form, borderline whether it's worth doing. I think it could be really good though. It's just, it's just overgrown. Just do with a bit of TLC, some clearing out and maybe some markers just to show the way the trail actually goes because I was wrong footed a few times there, we just went off to the side of it and not actually down the trail. But no, it's not bad, it's not bad. So the next trail I'm gonna do comes down here and it's called The Walking Dead. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm walking up the trail called The Walking Dead. <laughs> and uh, you never know, it could be true because there's some uh, there's a lot of overhanging vegetation, including face height trees, so I'm going to have to duck. Right, so last one of the day is the Walking Dead. I eventually found where it is. Now, I'm not going down, I'm not starting from the official beginning of it, because that's actually down that hill at fire road and you've got to climb up and then turn to go downhill. And I can't be hooped doing that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've walked up the trail, or most of it. And uh, it's, it says it's a red trail, but it's red bordering on black in parts. Uh, it is red, I suppose, but some black bits, I would say. There's quite a lot of exposure on down the hillside. Obviously exposure <laughs> on the right-hand side. And it's quite overgrown. There's a lot of grass and not a lot of mud. 
so it could be very slidey. So I'm a wee bit, I have to say, I am a wee bit nervous about it because uh, I might not be able to break too well. Uh, and it's quite a thin, narrow sort of trail. But I'm just going to go down this bit of, I suppose, fire road, access road, and join onto it. Fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. <laughs> Right bit. Yes, to the wall. This is in here, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was really good fun. Yeah, it's a red trail. On the walk up, I thought this is pretty hard in places, but coming down it, I felt fine. It just looked a lot worse for some reason going up than down, which is usually the other way around. But that was really good. Well, it's been a nice return to Bernardi, doing totally different trails than I've ever done before. That heather run, the trig point sprint trail. That was really good fun. Really nice fast and flowing. Stunning views from there as well. That one there, the Walking Dead, that is really good fun as well. The one in between eggplant, a wee bit disappointing just because it's overgrown. I think it'd be good if it was all tidied up and there was just a bit more things laid out to sh point in the right direction so you don't go off the trail. But yeah, a nice return. Next time I come up, I might go back down the steep stuff again. Try out my wits again against that. This is just what I needed today. A bit of a confidence builder again. <sighs> right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down and feel free to subscribe. I really do appreciate anybody that subscribes to the channel. Uh, it's good to know that uh, other people share my interest and uh, and it's good when people tell me things to do, like changing my stem and things like that. So, because that is definitely making a difference. Going down that trail there, there's lots of tight little turns I had to do, and the stem has definitely made a big difference. And as well, just put me in a better position for going downhill, I think. So, tatty bye.